Can you please state your name for the camera, for the record? Oh, yeah. Uh, Detective Cash Tankerson. Been on the force eight years. Uh, BBC unit. Oh, BBC? Yeah, Big Black Cops. <laughs> you, you, you know that means something different in different places, right? I'm not sure if I follow. You're disgusting. Anyway, um, yeah, my partner, he's a little different. How so? We were working narcotics undercover a couple of months ago, and... All right, now look, we here because the chief sent us to find drugs. Right. Be cool. I'm always cool, man. You know this. All right, just be stealth, man. Covert. All right, settle. Man, sure do wish I could find some weed. <laughs> mm. Tell us where the drugs at, fool! Tell us where the drugs at! What happened to you being subtle, man? Man, we found the drugs. I see an ibuprofen in his pocket. How could you possibly see an ibuprofen in his pocket? Man, I told you I'd do this, homie. My name is uh, Detective Lomax Jackson V. Whoa, 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 there's four more of you with that name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I come from a long life of terrible yeah, yeah. names. Yeah, got to go. Keep, keep, keep going, keep going. Yeah, man. Um, I've been on the force for about five years. Um, BBC unit. Uh, me and my partner, we uh, for the most part, we get along a little bit, man. But uh, he's kind of weird. Um, a little how so? Bit, how so? Um, uh, I mean, he's just more focused on women than solving crimes. <laughs> it's with the whoop whop and the whoop wham. You understand? Bro, can you just arrest her already? What's the rest, man? We having a conversation, bro. She killed 10 people. They not about to just magically be alive and walk away. Just chill, man. Chill, homie. Anyway, Mark. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so when you killed them, like, what kind of weapon did you use? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Oh, we would double up. <laughs> On the tippy toes and everything? Yeah. That? Yeah. So long story short, I don't oh, know if this is going to work out. I can't do this anymore. This partnership is beginning to take a toll on me. Well, what made you come to this conclusion? Okay, so we got a domestic abuse call, right? Mm -hmm. And um, things got a little hairy. All right, we ready to go in? I'm ready, man, but when you get in here, just be cool. This is a domestic abuse call, all right? I'm cool, I'm subtle, yeah, like, like always, man. Cut it out. Good cop, good cop. Okay. Nice to tease. Yes. All right. All right. What the, what the hell is it? Oh, come on, man. We supposed to be brothers, Stop man. Stop resisting. Uh, ma'am, do you want to tell us what's going on here? Don't tell him nothing, Sue Young. What? I'd rather talk about it in private if that's okay. Uh, sure. You want to come down to the station or something like that? Uh, well, actually, the bedroom would work fine. Okay. Man, what type of cops is y'all? You can't interrogate her in the bedroom, bruh! Oh. Shut up! You got the right to keep your legs closed, babe! Man, let me go, dog. You let hit women, huh, fool? Man, I didn't hit her. I was hitting the weed, man. The weed. I wouldn't hit a woman. Swung on them, I would have let them. <laughs> she never screamed like that with me. <laughs> oh, God. He's still, he's still going? He's still going. Just fing before he get over here. Oh, God. It's actually rather impressive now that you think about it. So you didn't do anything to stop this. You just let this just go on. You just sat there in the other room and did nothing. I mean, I was doing my job, so I wasn't doing nothing. I had an old boy hanging. I had him hemmed up, all right. And I could just hear the the, the, the noises from the from the bedroom, and it made me feel like I was a part of it. Like I was helping him help himself to the buds. So you were accomplice to the to the smash. Unwillingly, yes. Her husband was the one with the problem, not me. So, how did you smashing his wife fix the problem? Well, 
the good news is she's not in an unhappy relationship anymore. So is she in a relationship with you now? So now this guy's just single? You just came, smashed his girl, and hemmed him up against the wall with your partner? Well, let me just let me just say this for the people who are watching this. Uh, I didn't smash anybody. She's very much full of life and intact. Um, help her day get better? Yes. Do I use rash means of solutions? Possibly. Am I a great cop? Absolutely. So this is the way you guys handle business over at the BBC, I suppose. Listen, I felt the need to help her with the BBC unit, and that's exactly what we did. You disgust me. What, what did uh, Lomax say? He said that you went in the room and you smashed this guy's wife, and you're a damn criminal yourself! Classic Lomax. Detective Cash, veteran officer. Oh, in here? Okay. Detective Lomax Jackson V. BBC unit, five years. Look, let's just call a spade a spade. This rookie doesn't know how the real world works. Hey, to keep it 100, bro, he's my partner, not my commanding officer. I don't answer to nobody, said my mama. He says I'm not his commanding officer, but I'm literally his officer that commands him. We had a routine call the other day, and things got out of control. Okay, things got out of control a little bit, but I keep things in control at all times. <laughs> Cash, why are we meeting here? Why do you have on a disguise? Why don't you have on a disguise? Because this isn't an undercover operation, man. This is a regular, straight-up domestic abuse call. They asked for our help. I called you so we could double up and handle it together. Cash, I'm not breaking my disguise, man. I'm not blowing my cover. There's no cover to blow. We're not undercover. We're running a straight-up domestic abuse call that we can answer right now. Okay, but why are we meeting here? Where are we going? This is where we are. This is where the call came from. This can't be where the call came from. This is where the call came from. I got a call earlier today. I was trying to tell you before you talked over me. That this is the, you can't, this is the legal. You can't go inside. But you don't even you don't. understand. No, 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 but you don't. Oh, thank God that you guys are here. She over here put her hands on me, bro, over yelling at me. You don't know me trying to run, no. She been over here cussing me out, yelling at me, doing all this type of stuff, man. I'm just trying to be here for you, you know what I'm saying? What, why you, why you look like that? Oh! Man, just come over here. Oh. So now he's up the river without a paddle for the next decade. Two birds, one stone. No pun intended. BBC, BBC unit for life. life. 